In this video, you will be introduced to the initial calculations that must be made before beginning the PCR reaction. First, open the Step 1 PCR reaction spreadsheet. In this file, you will see a separate spreadsheet for all genes of interest. At the top of the spreadsheet, enter the number of samples that you want to test. Be sure to add two additional samples for the negative controls, the RT and PCR blank. It is important that you select the correct spreadsheet because the concentrations of primers have been optimized. In this experiment, the different primer concentrations are 50, 150, and 300 nanomolar. The yellow box at the lower left-hand side of the page is what you will need to print out and attach to your lab notebook. These are the volumes you will need to pipette for the master mix for this gene. These values are the same as the ones that you calculated above in the equation matrix. Now, fill out the other spreadsheets for all of the additional genes of interest. Here that is DUSF2 and 18S. Save the spreadsheet as PCR reaction setup underscore date of the experiment. Now you will need to open the plate setup spreadsheet. There are 8 rows, A through H, and 12 columns for a total of 96 cells, all of which correspond to one well in a 96 well plate. Fill in the spreadsheet with both the samples you are testing as well as the genes. You will use this as a guide when you are pipetting the plate. Make sure to replicate each sample within every gene. You do not need to replicate the PCR or RT blank. Save this spreadsheet as plate setup underscore date of the experiment. Now print out these spreadsheets and tape them into your lab notebook. From the reaction setup, you only need the yellow squares. However, you should keep the rest of the spreadsheet as a reference. 